Hi, welcome to Emacs Bowling. I'm Thomas and I'm almost ready to go on the PBA tour this year in 2023. Uh, so let's take a quick look at what's coming up in the next three months and what I'll be bowling. So. First off, we start in Indianapolis, Woodland Bowl with the US Open. US Open was there last year too. And uh, it's a real nice place, real cool bowling center. They take great care of us. Unfortunately, I've never done very well at that bowling center. So hopefully this year I, I can change that. Uh, we're bowling on three different, very hard uh, oil patterns for qualifying and we don't know them yet. So that's gonna be pretty interesting to see what, what we end up uh, having to deal with. Then from Indy, we're moving on to uh, PBA Springfield Classic in Springfield, Missouri. And because I've won a title, I don't have to bowl the PTQs, which is really, really nice. So I'm directly in the main field. And let's see here what we have to bowl on. So here we have to bowl on Wolf. Wolf is uh, 34 feet, I believe. Uh, a little bit uh, of a short pattern, so I'm sure there's going to be a lot of urethane that that week and um, I've never bowled in Missouri before as far as I remember so it's gonna be pretty cool to go there and see what uh, what that's like so on from Missouri to Shawnee in uh, Oklahoma we've been to Fire Lake many many times before I've made a show there so uh, hoping for another good showing and let's see what we're bowling on there we are bowling on bear so medium pattern 40 41 feet um, pretty tricky pattern again, so um, score, score shouldn't be super high, especially in that bowling center, I think, but it um, should be good to go back to, uh, to Shawnee and, and hopefully get some uh, strike a little bit more than the rest of the field. Then we're moving on to Wichita, North Rock Lanes, uh, home of the Wichita State program, um, Shockers, so um, I was there a couple years ago for the, actually for the US Open, um, made the 710 there on extra frame, I remember. Um, but, but yeah, uh, so moving on to there. And what are we bowling on there? We are bowling on Dragon. I believe that's one of the longer patterns. Um, you, so again, going from short to medium to long, that's gonna be interesting. Uh, probably gonna need some different balls for, for that one than I've been than I use the past couple weeks there. So, but yeah, bowling on long, um, again, should be, uh, should be interesting to go back to North Rock to Wichita and uh, hopefully strike a lot there too. So then off to Jackson. Uh, we were in Jackson last year, really, really, really nice place. Um, uh, one of David Small centers and yeah, he took really good care of us. I didn't do very well there last year, but hopefully I can change that this year. And we're bowling on Chameleon. Um, we might actually be bowling on two, two patterns it looks like. Let's see here. So we're, we're actually bowling on Chameleon and Hardwick. So 39 and 44 feet. Um, quite interesting. Look like it looks like it's gonna be a dual pattern event. So yeah. So that's, uh, that's pretty interesting. Those tournaments are always uh, fairly uh, fun and frustrating because a lot of times you'll end up having a really good look on one pattern and uh, maybe a not so good look on the other. And um, yeah, you have to figure out two patterns to, to get the job done that week. So should be uh, should be fun going back to Jackson, Michigan again. Hopefully the weather's a little bit warmer than it was last year, but we'll see. And then we're off to the Tournament of Champions, um, one of the biggest events of the year uh, in, in St. Akron, Fairlawn, Ohio. Uh, been there many, many years. I led qualifying there last year, and this year they're gonna do something a little different. They're actually gonna take 17 people to the, uh, to the TV shows. So um, hopefully I can bowl real well there in qualifying and put myself in good position to to be in the top 17. Uh, I don't think there's ever been a show like that before, so that's gonna be really cool to see how that plays out. After uh, the Tournament of Champions, we're off to Kokomo in Indiana, uh, about a, a couple hours from Indianapolis. Uh, we were there last year, 
again, really nice place. Uh, so hope to, uh, to go there and have a lot of success. It looks like we're bowling another dual lane on Viper and Harry Smith. I actually don't remember what Harry Smith is, but it's 41 feet. So 37, 41 feet. Um, again, to a shorter pattern and a more of a medium pattern and um, should make for some interesting challenges. Again, if, you, if you're really good on one pattern but can't figure out the other, you're probably not gonna get the results you want. But if you're really good on both patterns, you could go really, really far. So yeah. Again, looking forward to seeing what uh, Kokomo has to bring this year. Then after Kokomo, we're going to the USBC Masters. Masters this year is in, in Michigan, it, at Thunderball Lanes in Detroit. Um, and yeah, we've been, again, been there many, many times. World Series started there. We've been there other times for World Series. Center that hooks a lot uh, and they have the um, the old bay that hooks even more that they usually use for match play TV shows. So gonna be cool going back there. Uh, obviously I won the Masters a couple years ago so it's gonna be very special to bowl that event again and um, hopefully I'm able to make it to match play and make a little run at, uh, at title number two at the Masters. And then we move on to the World Series. It's back in Wauwatosa, same place as last year, but I think they they renovated the bowling center with uh, updated the lanes and, and stuff like that. So it's probably gonna be a little bit different than last year. Last year, it there was a lot of friction, a lot of differences pair to pair. Hopefully it's a little bit better this year um, and hopefully my results are a little bit better this year. So um, gonna be interesting. Uh, I believe we're bowling on four different patterns there let's see here we're bowling on cheetah scorpion shark and then the earl anthony for for the world uh, championship shows uh, and we're bowling 20 games on each animal pattern uh, so quite a lot of bowling 60 games in in uh, about a week and then match play after that hopefully so um, a short high scoring pattern uh, kind of a medium a little bit more tight and tricky pattern in the scorpion and shark is the long and usually very tight with out of bounds to the right. So um, very different patterns and different strategies, but hopefully I strike on all three of them and uh, make a good run at the at the World Series. And after the World Series, uh, we're moving on to the Players Championship in uh, North Brunswick, New Jersey, um, old Carolina Lanes. I know they're not called that anymore, but it is. Uh, Car it, it used to be Carolina Lanes. Really, really big, cool bowling center. I've only been there once, uh, bowling the Masters many years ago. Uh, so it's gonna be cool to go back and, and see it. And um, yeah, again, hopefully end the season on a high note with a good finish at the Players' Championship. So, so that's the PBA season. Um, a lot of different oil patterns. Uh, actually, I don't know what we're bowling on at the Players' Championship. Let's just check that out. Don Carter and Dick Weber. So again, two of the uh, two longer patterns, I believe. Uh, oh, 39 and 45 feet. Um, so, but there's, it looks like there's a good mix of patterns on tour this year. Shorter patterns, longer patterns, uh, quite a few medium patterns. Um, so my guess, there's gonna be a lot of urethane going down the lanes, especially on the shorter and medium patterns. But then the longer patterns might uh, pose a challenge to to people if they want to use urethane and uh, they could get a little messy. So um, so yeah, very excited to see what happens. I know we're going a lot of places with great fans, great hospitality, and it's going to be uh, going to be fun to uh, to go from place to place. We're going to be driving me and Brian Robinson. We're going to be driving from place to place, and uh, yeah, so putting a lot of miles on on uh, the car and uh, yeah, so. But I'm gonna be doing some videos from each stop and um, so please subscribe and check back for, for more about the PBA tour. And um, yeah, if, um, if you're gonna come out and uh, watch uh, or bowl a pro-am at any of uh, these events, let me know. And uh, I'll make sure to, uh, to include you in the video or just come say hi or, or whatever. But, uh, but yeah, drop me a comment and um, let me know if, uh, if I'll see you this year. So, 
See you in the next video. See you in all the videos from the PBA tour. And uh, yeah, bye.